Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, hasn't it? Uh, I guess like the summer kicked in, everyone was allowed outside, weren't they? And then, you know, we've been really busy ever since, which has been amazing. But it's nice to have a bit of downtime and be able to get out and sort of pick this back up again. Um, the next few videos that I'm going to put out, you know, are sort of more focused around some of like the more popular walks in the lakes and I guess a little bit of a guide how to do that and what you sort of you know sort of should be looking out for with all of these videos there's a blog as well i'll put a link in the description you just sort of find there's a little bit more detail on that as a gpx as well you can download and a few other little bits of handy tips the videos are more just a bit of a new visual sort of show if you like of it so today we're going to head up to jack's rake and we're just going to have a look at that because it's really popular and i think it's absolutely brilliant if you're looking at sort of going from sort of hill walking to scrambling this might be one of the sort of things on your bucket list if you like so i head up to the bottom and we'll have a, a bit of a chat <laughs> cool so we've made it to the the bottom of jack's rake the walk from up to this point's about sort of about an hour or so you park at the new dungeon gill hotel car park there's a national trust one so just make sure you've got plenty of changes loads of spaces as well and then you're just following the stickle gill up to stickle tar and you might see some groups in the gill actually it's quite a popular activity maybe not so much at this time of the year it's a bit cold but most of the year and sitting in the summer you'll see groups in and out of that climb up the waterfalls and again it's really good fun and um, you'll cross over a bridge and then you just follow the, the sort of obvious path to the top of a stickle tarn and, and the views are really really cool it's really popular swimming spot as well the views like i said are, are absolutely stunning especially on a day like today where it's quite crisp but it's really bright and warm it doesn't really matter which way you go around the tarn. Most people go from the right hand side as you're looking up at Pavey Arc and uh, you'll sort of sort of figure that out yourselves. But it, all you're looking for is a faint path up the scree whereby you know you can access the bottom of the scramble itself. Jack's rake though, you know, it, it it's a grade one scramble so it's definitely going to be a little bit of rock climbing involved in it and you know there's there's a couple of sort of things you're going to have to consider firstly you know unfortunately there has been accidents on this so make sure that you're comfortable you know doing a little bit of rock climbing and, and certainly you know if you're not sure then i would definitely recommend going and getting a, a guide or, or something there's plenty of them around and myself included can can sort of help you out with that at that point you know you just need to take in consideration a couple of things like today it's nice and warm and it's nice and dry and as with anything like this i think it's really important that you just sort of stay well away from it if it's wet this particularly is, is really slippy and, and quite loose in places if it's wet it's an absolute nightmare so just bear that in mind when you're sort of doing your planning look at the weather the scramble itself is really cool it's like a natural fault in the sort of face of pavey arc which is the wane right at the top and you've got like a lower lower section and an upper section and both of those are rock climbing and again during the summer you might see people rock climbing on it and it's got some really 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 cool climbs and we're lucky to climb on there over the, over the years which is yeah something else i think especially on a day like today you know, here again things like kitting up do you know sorting out your bag any faff around obviously it's gonna be a bit a bit more difficult for me because i'm going to try and do some recording along the way but yeah definitely checking where you're going and, and certainly being being sure i'll sort my stuff out and then we'll uh, let's crack on and let's go up and let's just have a look at a couple of sections i'm not sure how i'm going to do this with the camera but i'll give it as, as best a shot as i can and, and create a, a clearer picture as possible for you <music>
Hey, cool. So I'm about halfway now, and I'm just below sort of what is the, the sort of crux, if you like, of Jack's rake. It's nothing really for anyone to worry about, I don't think. Up until this point, you know, it's nothing really too difficult. All the holds are really good. There's some really good ledges for you to stand on, and it's really nice climbing. So a really good introduction to sort of scrambling at that point. Top tip for you though, if you really want one and you've got this far into the video, is make your bag as small as possible. You'll find it that you can just sort of squeeze into the sort of scoop a lot easier and just makes you feel a little bit sort of smaller if you like when you're trying to sandwich yourself into the rock. Uh, so that's my, my top tip for the video. I don't give them out very often, but there's one there for you. I'm just going to now head up to the sort of like the crux section and uh, we'll just sort of have a look at that. After that, there's not really a huge much more to it. I've probably travelled about, I don't know, about sort of 250 metres in distance up to this point. What I've got you though, check this view out, what a day. You see all of like the lakes pretty much just behind me, Sickle Tarn's just gone past and then, yeah, there's the rake just behind me there, pretty cool eh? <laughs> So hard bit out of the way, and I say hard, like really loosey, it's not that bad as you can probably see from the footage. I was really lucky that there was a few people sort of just in front of me, so I managed to get a little bit of footage for them as well. It's always quite nice to do, isn't it? It creates a different sort of angle and a better picture. From here, you're going to go around a little corner, which I've just done, and then you've just got some like really easy slabby climbing. You can't quite see it, it's just the angle of the camera, but it's really straightforward. From there, you've got a couple of options. First one's to go up to pay the arc and tick the way right. That makes sense, doesn't it? You've sort of climbed most of the hill, you might as well get the summit. And you can go a magnitude of ways from there over to sort of like the pikes or, you know, high rays or, or like me, just descend down back to the tarn. And uh, yeah, go and grab yourselves a coffee at the new Junjun Girl. That's probably what I'm going to opt into and then head back home and try and string this all together into some sort of YouTube video. I'll, um, I'll capture the last little bit because it's always worth doing. And in actual fact, you can catch people out. They get to this little bit and they think, shit, it's over. And it's an actual fact, it's not. So um, I'll catch that for us just because it's worth doing, isn't it? And uh, yeah. Just while I'm on this, if you just do us a massive favour, click that little like button and hit the subscribe button. That's really greatly appreciated. The support's been amazing and I, I really do appreciate it. It goes a long way for me. And it, equally, I've got like a little list of things and little videos that I'm going to put together, mostly hill walks and scrambles. But if you've got anything in mind and you've, you know you want something in, then just give us a shout. I can pop it in the comments, in fact, and I'll, I'll make it happen if I can do. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I uh, really appreciate watching. Hopefully it's been helpful. Thank you.